Hey, what is up guys? Jen and I are coming over here, and today I'm going to be showing my new Hunter character. I recently just got him to level 20, and it was such a hassle getting him to level 20, and I have been recently upgrading him a whole bunch, so now he's level 26. I am so happy how this guy is turning out, so let's jump in. First up, I got another Nict, which is a primary scout rifle from the Vanguard, which is a really good scout rifle. Here are all the perks for it. Next off is his exotic weapon, I have the Patience and Time, which I got from a Nightfall a really long time ago, but I have never been upgrading it. So now I am upgrading it with this character, and I am really happy how it's turning out. Here are all the perks for it. Next up I have the Swarm, which is still only at a 300 base attack stat, which I got from the really old, 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 old Vanguard, right before the Dark Below. I got it as my first legendary weapon on my Titan, which is my first character, and I never fully maxed it, it was sitting in my vault, so I gave it to this character. So here are all the perks for it. Next off for armor, I have a regular base rare helmet, regular gauntlets, regular chest, and I have an exotic chest, the Crest of Alpha Lupi for the Hunter. Sadly, this is the old one, so I did not upgrade it to level 32 yet. It's not enough to get me to level 32 with this character, so I'm going to have to upgrade that sooner or later. Here are all the perks for it. really good chest piece in my opinion and the exotic i usually go with is the radiant dance machines i recently got these from zero if you check out my most recent video my zero selling video i just bought these they are so good and i'm so happy i bought them here are all those perks Next off for his class item, I have the Dead Zone Revolution, which I got when this guy was at least level 5. I bought it with my Titan because I had a lot of motes of light and I really wanted one of these hunter cloaks. So I picked my favorite one, the Dead Zone Revolution. I just like how it looks like a hunter cloak. It is so cool and I am so happy I bought it. Next off for his build, I did not fully upgrade Blade Dancer yet, but this is what I have so far. Next off, for his ghost, his sparrow, his ship, shader, and emblem, I have the regular ghost shell, just ordinary ghost shell that everyone has. I have the EV tumbler sparrow, which you got from pre-ordering the dark below. I have the glory ship, which is such a cool ship. I got this, I think, from an ROC strike. I'm really happy I got this one. Definitely one of the coolest looking ships, in my opinion, and I am really happy I got it. Next, I, I have the blacksmith shader, which looks so good with the Dead Zone Revolution cloak. It matches perfectly, and I was such in a hassle for trying to find a shader that would match this cloak, and once I found this one, I was so happy. Now, my emblem, I got the Illusion of Light, which is from a code you got from when you put it in Bungie, and I just got this emblem from putting in that code. I'll put that code down in the description below. The Sign of the Finite is also one with a code. I'll put that one's code in the description. And the Jade Rabbit, which you get on the moon or from a random chest. That about wraps it up for my Hunter. I'm really happy that he's level 20 and he's such a cool character. So if you guys didn't make a Hunter and you just want a character to mess around with, definitely make a Hunter. They are such cool characters. And thanks for watching. Severity 2. Priority 2.